In today's video, I'll demonstrate how to determine the true wind direction and speed manually. Additionally, I'll show you how to use an Excel sheet for these calculations. This true wind calculator can be downloaded online. On board we have an instrument used to determine the wind speed and direction called, anemometer. It is typically installed at high and clear locations on a ship, to provide accurate measurements of wind speed and direction. Most high-mounted anemometers will have data displayed on a unit, accessible from the ship's bridge. It can be digital or analog type, commonly called, wind direction and speed indicator. If the ship is stationary, the indicator displays the true wind direction and speed. But if the ship is moving or underway, it displays the apparent direction and speed. When we say apparent wind, it is the wind experienced on a moving ship, which is a combination of the true wind and the wind created by the ship's movement. Wind information is essential for determining the Beaufort scale. Beaufort scale is a qualitative measure of wind speed and its effects on the environment. It uses wind speed and its observable effects to categorize wind conditions into various levels, each described by specific terms and impacts. In this video, we will determine the true wind direction and speed when the ship is moving. The following information should be gathered before we can proceed. We need the ship's heading, the ship's speed, the apparent wind direction, and the apparent wind speed. We will take the ship's heading from the gyro compass. The heading is 221 degrees. For the speed, we take it from the GPS receiver. The ship speed is 15.3 knots. We will take the apparent wind direction and speed from the wind indicator. The indicator shows that the apparent wind direction is 30 degrees to port. Always remember that if the apparent wind is port, the sign is negative, and for starboard, it is positive. The apparent wind speed is 23 knots. In this wind indicator, take the inner reading. This mark indicates 20 knots. Here is 25 knots. The indicator is pointing in this direction, approximately 23 knots. There are wind indicators that the outside reading should be taken. This indicator shows that the wind speed is 10 knots. So be familiar with the wind indicator you have on board. We now have the necessary information needed. I will show you two different methods how to determine the true wind direction and speed. The first method is through manual plotting. I will use this compass rose and the radar plotting sheet for the manual plotting. For the second method, we will be using an Excel sheet, which is commonly used on board. Let us start with the compass rose. First, lay down the own ship's course in the compass rows. The ship's heading is 221 degrees true. You can use a ruler, a triangle, or a parallel ruler. Once the ship's heading was laid down, use the compass divider to measure the ship's speed on the latitude scale. The ship's speed is 15.3 knots, which is equal to 15.3 miles on the latitude scale. Lay down the ship's speed along the ship's course, measured from the center of the compass rows, then marked it. We have already plotted the ship's course and speed. Next is to plot the apparent wind direction. Since it is 30 degrees to port, we will subtract it from the ship's heading. The apparent wind direction is 191 degrees. If the apparent wind is starboard, add it from the ship's heading. Let us plot 191 degrees. Next, measure the apparent wind speed which is 23 knots along the latitude scale. Then marked it along the apparent wind direction. This is the measured apparent wind speed which is 23 knots. Next is to connect a line on the plotted speed, from the ship's heading to the apparent wind direction. Then drag the triangle at the center of the compass rows and create a parallel line. This is now the true wind direction, 
which is 153 degrees true. When plotting the true wind direction, always follow the direction starting from the ship's heading, towards the apparent wind direction. To determine the true wind speed, measure this distance. The true wind speed is 12 knots. If you have a slight difference in the result of your plotting, it is negligible. Let us go back to true wind direction. When stating the direction of the true wind, it should be expressed using the 32 points of the compass, a method commonly referred to as boxing the compass. The true wind direction is 153 degrees. Let us take the nearest point which is south-southeast, equivalent to 157.5 degrees. This is the reason why a slight difference in the result of your plotting is negligible. If the wind direction is south-southeast, it means the wind is coming from south-southeast and blowing towards the north-northwest. Wind direction is typically described by the direction from which it originates, not in the direction towards which it is blowing. Next, let us determine the wind force using our Beaufort wind scale. Our true wind speed is 12 knots. If we check here, the wind speed is between 11 to 16 knots, and the Beaufort force or wind force is 4. The description is moderate breeze. The sea state is 3 to 4, where the sea is forming small waves, becoming larger. Before we check our answers using the true wind calculator, let us use this radar plotting sheet to determine the true wind direction and speed using the same given information, so that we can compare both methods. We will use a scale of 3 is to 1 to measure the distance, so that the apparent wind speed which is 23 knots will not go beyond the plotting sheet. We will use these symbols to determine the following lines and points in this plotting sheet. Where E to R is the own ship course and speed. E to W is the apparent wind direction and apparent wind speed. And R to W is the true wind direction and true wind speed. We will plot this information using the same procedure as the previous method. First, lay down the ship's heading, which is 2 to 1 degrees. Then measure the ship's speed which is 15.3 knots, and mark along the ship's course. Mark the center with E, and this point is R, which represents own ship's course and speed. Next, plot the apparent wind direction which is 191 degrees. Next measure the apparent wind speed, which is 23 knots, and mark along the apparent wind direction. Once laid down, mark this point with W, which represents apparent wind direction and speed. Next, connect points R and W. R to W is the true wind direction and speed. Drag the triangle to the center to determine the true wind direction. The true wind direction is 153 degrees, which is the same as the previous method. Next, measure R to W, to determine the true wind speed. The true wind speed is 12 knots, the same as the previous method. Let us check this using the true wind calculator. You can download this Excel sheet online. If you want to download this, kindly check the link in the comment section. To determine the true wind speed, and true wind direction, we need to fill up these four yellow boxes along the last column. Once it has been filled up, it will automatically calculate the true wind speed and direction shown in the green boxes. Below it shows the direction of the wind by points of the compass, including the Beaufort force. The term relative is the same as the apparent. So for the relative wind speed, enter 23. For the relative wind direction, enter negative 30, since the wind indicator shows 30 degrees to port. Next enter the ship speed which is 15.3. Then enter the ship's heading which is 221, and hit enter. The true wind speed is 12 knots, 
and the true wind direction is 153 degrees. The box below shows south-southeast, which is the true wind direction by points of the compass. And the Beaufort force is 4. So we got the same true wind direction and speed using the manual method. That's all for now, I hope you find this video helpful, thank you for watching, bye.